We live in a society where everybody would like to talk about their dreams rather than pursue them. Many of us will never chase our dreams and goals because we're too busy worrying about other people's opinion. You have to make a commitment that from this day forward, I won't let anything get in the way of me chasing my dream. You have to be focused. If anything gets in your way, destroy it. If it's a grizzly bear, take it out. Do not quit. We cannot be so weak that we quit at the first sign of adversity. You have to believe. Speak to what you want. Words without pursuit won't work. You have to look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm going to reach my goals even if it kills me. And just in case it does, I know in my heart, I didn't die for nothing. Let the things that we cannot control go. You can't help the situation you were born into. We can't dwell on the fact that we weren't born into that wealthy family. You weren't given all of the networks and tools that other people have. You can't change that. But what you can change is the now and the future. So when it's all said and done, it's all she wrote. At the end of your life, you want to be able to look back and say, I gave it my all. I used every bit of talent that was given to me. I have nothing left. And I submit to you today that you haven't given everything into what you say you want to do. See, everybody isn't going where you're going. Everybody doesn't see what you see. That's why God gave you the vision. Yeah, it's convenient to have people in your corner cheering you on. Yeah, it'd be great if everything worked out perfectly, but that's not necessary. The only thing that's necessary for you to have what you want to have is for you to make a serious decision. The problem is most of us are only interested in our dreams. You know, it would be cool if I was successful. Oh, how great would it be if I had what I said that I was going to get? But only a select few can make a serious decision and say, no, it wouldn't be cool. No, I'm not interested in it, but I am committed to it. I will have success. I will accomplish my goals. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to see that happen. The path to success, guys, is the road less traveled. So many of us wonder, what does it take to really be successful? I'm here to tell you, it takes an unwavering, stubborn commitment to your future. Listen, everyone who has traveled the road to success has encountered the same person. And his name is failure. You can't get to your goals without passing by him. So expect him. We've got to stop being so caught off guard when tough times hit. Yes, I know your family's dependent on you. Yes, I know the weight of the world is on your shoulders. I know you sat up at night and cried and asked God why. But I'm telling you right now, don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. You see, there's something that you have that the world needs. God has placed a gift and a passion on the inside of you, and no one else can fulfill that calling except for you. So now you've got to make a decision. Either you can be the ammunition wagon with everything inside of you that you need, but never use it. Or you can be the rifle, which was built not for storing things, but for use. So now you've got to make the decision like we were talking about earlier. You've got to decide that I'm going to get every single thing that's inside of me out. Even if it takes my blood, sweat, and tears, there will be no regrets. There will be no giving up. There will be no tomorrow. There is only today. There is only this moment. And in this moment, decide. Knowing that your life is a sum total of the decisions that you make. Decide to sacrifice. Get up every morning with development on your mind because you know it's bigger than you. God himself has entrusted you with something and it's up to you 